How's it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my intergalactic adventure series here on Modded Minecraft 1.6.4. We are here in the base and uh, in the last episode we uh, made a rotary macerator. Well, I made a second one as well because we're still not keeping up with the ore processing here. As you can see, we've pretty much hit a uh, semi-bottleneck with that. And if we come down here, I've actually moved the rotary macerator I made down here and added another three in here because these things are a little bit slow. Um, I could overclock them, I guess, as well, something I might consider doing. Um, but if we look here now, if I look at the ore, I've got uh, probably about 6,000 unprocessed ore here still to go with no quarries running at the moment. Um, and in terms of ingots, what I've got, I've got here, look at this, 12,000 copper, in copper ingots. Sorry, 12,000 tin ingots and another 3,000 over here. That's what, 12, 15,000 plus, uh, 11,000 copper, 7,500 iron. It's just mad as how much I've got here. Uh, the really rare stuff, though, like the diamonds, I've still only got about 108 of those. I guess that's fairly decent, but uh, it could be better. Um, now, let me just see here. I need, I'm going to need some of these things. should only need three, actually. But uh, we're going to be uh, moving uh, the one of the quarries today to a spot in the overworld to try and get some sand. Because I don't have very much sand if we check out here. I've only got 280 sand, which isn't really that much. Especially if I'm making a lot of glass for some of these recipes. Uh, speaking of which, I might actually take some of that sand and put it in to cook up in the glass while I'm talking. Stick that in the furnace. And I might also get some tin um, here. We'll take that over and start start that going in the rolling machine to make some tin plates, uh, which we'll need for some overclocks and stuff eventually. <clears throat> okay, so let's head back to the deep dark. And we're going to go get one of the uh, quarries and we'll move it somewhere in the overworld. All right. So yeah, this cutlass has been going pretty good for me. It's not as powerful as the uh, Nano Saber, uh, but it is still pretty good. And what's really good about it is this auto repair feature on it. Like, I use it a ton and it still keeps almost full charge the whole time, which is really, really cool. I really like that. It's only got the one ball of moss modifier on it as well. So this quarry here on the right is the one that finished. This one over here is the one that uh, I stopped halfway down so we can... Start that running again. Um, let's just grab the stuff that we'll need to take out of here. So first up, I'm going to take this off. And this side is the side we're going to leave going. So I'll take this one, uh, this one, and this, that. And I'll also take, uh, have I got my gravity tool? What do I do with it? <clears throat> Take the test racks. Okay, I think that's everything I'll need, and I'll put this um this guy here back on. What am I stuck on here? Let's just switch this up. And I might need to take this off. Put it back on again. That should be working there. And we just need to power this up now. This guy. Cool. So that should get this quarry going again. And uh, what I thought we would do is uh, check out the uh, what's down here. <laughs> Look how, look how huge this hole is, it's crazy. Okay, let's stick a torch there so I don't get killed by the darkness. I actually brought a couple of Roth lamps as well, so I'll stick one down here. And uh, take a look around. What's this all up here? Peridot, pretty cool. So yeah, this is just the uh, the bedrock. <laughs> it's a uh, flat bedrock in a lot of these. 
alternate sort of dimensions, which is uh, is actually better than the uneven bedrock in terms of getting the ore out of it. Let's see if we can spot some diamond. I think there's some up there. Go up and get that. Nice. Four diamonds. Sweet. Grab that. What's this stuff here? Oh, lava. And I'm getting burnt. Let's just block that off. Don't need that flowing everywhere. Sulfur from Railcraft. Okay. See if there's any more diamonds around the place. Ah, here we go. Nice. Yes, please. 12 diamonds. Grab that gold as well. Yeah, this Perido, what I'm thinking of making um, at some point here, let's turn on NEI again, is this thing called the Ancient Star from Biomes of Plenty. And uh, it's made up of an ancient staff topper, staff pole, and the handle. And uh, each of these has, uh, like, the biomes are plenty gemstones in it. Like, we've got tanzanite, sapphire. So I've got both of those for the handle. For the pole, though, we need peridot and malachite. And for the top, we need ruby and topaz. Now I've got Peridot, but I don't have Topaz and I don't have Malachite, so I need to find that. And apparently Malachite can only be found in like the swamp type biomes, um, and the Topaz is in like the rainforest uh, tropic type biomes. So I need to try and dig down and find some of that stuff so we can make that, um, that stuff. What the stuff is supposed to do is create a portal to a place called something like the Promised Land or something like that. Um, which is sounds like it's kind of like a heaven um, dimension, or uh, yeah. So that sounds like something that would be pretty cool to check out. Let's grab this thing. Come on, they take forever to break those things. Let's get back up here over in this direction. Okay, so we'll leave that going there. I don't know if too many items are going to fall out the sides with the setup like that, actually. A bit hard to tell because they'll get sucked up in that vacuum hopper. I guess I'll leave the vacuum hopper there anyway. This thing seems to be moving pretty quickly, which is good. The one Tesseract. Groovy. All right, let's head back to the overworld. So much better having a jetpack now. It is awesome. Oh, why did I turn that off? Die, spider. Anyone else want to fight? Huh? Yeah, let's get up here. I love the stalag stalactites. All right, we're back. Wow. Things aren't loading in here. That's weird. <laughs> Must be getting a bit of chunk lag. Come on. Load in. You can do it. Let's oh, there we go. Whoa. That is loud. Why is that so loud?
Can I make a muffler? Let's just see if a muffler will fix that. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Why have they gone all noisy all of a sudden? Let me just try this, guys. Let me just try this. They weren't making that noise before. That's weird. No, they're still going. Okay, maybe we'll do this. That should solve the problem temporarily. Uh... I don't know why they were quiet and then they started going noisy like that. That's really weird. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I, f I was going to avoid all this sort of stuff here as well. Dang. All right, well, let's uh, let's switch this back on. We'll go back and... Uh, we'll go back and we'll uh, void... Set it to void this... This other stuff, because I don't want to get too much stuff jamming up my inventory. Turn off ho hover mode. Right. At least it's fairly quick to get back here now, which is good. Right, so we'll set this to void the marble cobblestone, basalt cobblestone, and the copper ore, just because I've got so much of it. Probably should have done the tin as well. That should do. Okay, is it still super loud back here? Okay, now it's not loud. That's kind of strange, but kind of good as well. I could even expand this, but what we're going to do before we head off, guys, and place this quarry is I want to create another Tinker's Construct tool. And uh, what I want to make this time is a hammer. And uh, for a hammer... What we're going to need is the hammerhead, which I don't think I've made one yet. Let's just see. So we can make one of those up. Hammerhead, where are you? There it is. All right. And put that in there. Then we just need a bit of stone in that. Uh, am I doing this right? I don't think I'm doing this right to put it in this one and I want to make one of these things out of aluminum brass beautiful let's chuck the rest of that out Okay, now what I'm going to make it out of is cobalt. And uh, we'll make the head out of cobalt, like so. Awesome. Get rid of the cobalt out of there. And I want to make the handle out of Ardite, so we'll turn that on. <coughs> Fill that with iodite. Okay, hang on. Did I turn this? 
think I've screwed up. Hang on. Let's turn that off. Is anyone there? Just wait for it to empty. Okay, now we can put the art right in. Okay, so I'm going to need the large. No, I won't need that one. What I'll need is the tough rod cast. This one. And we want that out of Ardite. Shouldn't use up too much Ardite. So these are both nether ores, obviously. Pretty hard to come by. Let's turn that off so it doesn't cycle. This is a really good setup here now. Good. Okay, then we're going to need to make a... Uh, paper, where is my paper at? Might need some more paper actually. Let's go back and get some more. Uh, from here. And I should be using this. Okay, so let's see. Um, one of these, Get some paper, one, two, let's put the rest of the paper, we'll put half the paper back and stick some of it in here, one with this, get rid of that, everything else is good. What am I putting that in there for? Okay. So let's put this thing together. Alright, tough rod there. Now let's just switch it to the hammer. Schematic. Tough rod there. Hammer head in there. And the two large plates. So Cobalt, guys, has a really high mining speed. The highest mining speed in um, Tinker's Construct. Alright. The reason I'm getting that is I believe it has stone bound. And I'll talk about that a bit later. And then paper gives us the extra modifiers. So we'll have like uh, five modifiers instead of something like three or four. And that'll give us a hammer with stone bound, writable, and reinforced. Reinforced to you. Yeah. So we'll call this Jim's. Oh my god. Come on. Jim's hammer. And uh, the modifiers I'm going to put on it to start with, we're going to make uh, a ton of redstone on there. So what redstone does is uh, gives it speed. So you can see the mining speed's gone up. So I just add as much of this as I can until I run out of modifiers. Okay, so how far can we go with this? A couple more. Okay, so that's it. Let's get rid of that redstone. Um, now, what I'm also wanting to put on this, but I don't know if I have enough string. I've got nine string here. I'm going to need a lot more than that. I should probably plant some cotton. Uh, because what we want to make is a silky jewel. Uh, a silky jewel adds silk touch to this thing. Um, but, yeah. So we want to add silk touch. And then I'm going to add an electric um, uh, an electric modifier to it as well. So with Reinforce 2, guys. Not Reinforce 2. With Stonebound, what that does is it's a trait that uh, once this thing wears down, the less durability it, it gets... The lower the durability, the higher the mining speed gets. 
Uh, so a little trick that I've been reading up that you can do is once it gets down as low to the lowest possible durability, like with one durability left, then what you do is you put the electrical modifier on that and charge it up so it will always have that super fast stonebound effect on it. Um, that's what we're going to try to do. Let's head back up top now. And I'll just go out and plant. Let me see. We'll make some seed bags out of this just because it's quicker. And uh, we'll go out and plant some of these cotton seeds. These are going to take a while to grow. Put one there. Uh, one there and one there. Okay, there's another spot there. I run out of cotton seeds. Let's grab, see if I've got any more cotton. And what I could even do is, um, if I get some uh, bone meal, I haven't got very much here but we've got a little bit um let's put should have too much to stick in it why did i do that <laughs> i don't know why i put that in there but we can actually put the bone mill in the, into the sprinkler system and what that will do is we'll increase the growth of the plants around the sprinkler here let's just make some seed bags out of this probably have some already in there Put that there. And I might actually feed my cows because I haven't fed them for a while. Come on, chaps. All right, get busy making babies. Chuck the rest of that in there. All right, and let's go cook up those potatoes as well. Um, good, alright. So, um, I'll just grab the chainsaw. We might need that. What else? I might need, a. might need my sleeping bag. We might use that right now, actually. Take a quick sleep. Yeah, alright. Awesome. And everything else, I think we've got everything else. Actually, I need some hardened energy conduits. Just need one of these. And I think I've got everything else I need. Um, actually, no, I need a pipe. Quartz pipe. Good. All right. Um, you know what, if we're going exploring, I might also need to get some extra torches before I leave. Got a lot of torches here. Can never have too many torches. And I'll leave the uh, wireless access terminal here. Okay, how's this tin going over here? Pretty much finished. I might make some more up. More tin plates. Okay, they're finished. All right, we're good to go. I think we're good to go. 
So what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to try to find um, an area with lots of sand. Like, uh, let's have a look around here. We head towards the... I've marked sand on the map over there, so it must be something out out there with, with sand like a desert or, so, or something like that. Actually, before we go, let's just drop down here and pick these cotton, this cotton that's already grown. Come here, you. Work that in there for now. I think it's like three cotton is uh, three cotton makes a, a single string. It's not the best, but if you're desperate, sometimes it's good. Pretty sure I've been through this area before. Did I look down here in this ravine? I wouldn't mind some more essence berry bushes. Because I got some plans for um, auto generating some XP out of them. Wow, look at this tree here. That is massive. Wow. What kind of tree is this? Redwood. Man, that's huge. Did I bring a portal gun? I don't think I did. I don't think there's any ore berries down there. Okay, probably heading out in this direction. Another slime island there. So what kind of biome is this one? Orchard. Huh. So we got like an apple tree here? Is that right? Why did I not get anything? This got shears mode on. Okay, I got something then. You got an apple out of that. Oh, I know. You probably have to wait till they're red. That's pretty cool. Let's chop this down and get some, um, some of the, uh, saplings out of this, if we can. Just out of the fruit trees. There's another one over here. Apple sapling. That's cool. I like that. What kind of flowers are these? Dandelions. I might already have some of these. That should be enough anyway. Don't want the damp grass, thank you very much. Okay, we've got a fair bit in the old inventory here. Direction am I going in here? This way is where we want to go, out towards the Mesa. This is where we come, came uh, a while back on the, that adventure with the uh, Archimedes ships, the Black End of Pearl. So there should be a good patch of sand over here for me to get some sand happening. Just 
just down here. Grab these things out. Okay, so I might put the markers down. Let's see. Where will I position this? Something like that. To about there. We'll make it there and then have to get actually that should be enough we should just be able to click on that awesome okay let's put this quarry down god damn it that's not where I want you why did that not work Sometimes I found it glitches out a little bit. Let's put those marks, landmarks back down again. Uh, I think I had one here. And it was there. Oh, there's horses over there as well. Look at that. Nice. I haven't even um, done anything with my horses yet. Let's put one there. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out this time. Maybe it was the direction I was facing it or something. Try it again. Got to put it exactly in the corner here. Let's try. That's better. <laughs> All right. And... Um, I want is to put the Tesseract there. Let's set this up. So I want to have... Um, where is it? Uh, I want to have the... Oh, I didn't... I didn't bring her with me. Damn, I might be all right though. I might be all right because of the shape of it. It'll make it simpler anyway. So we're just gonna have the diamond pipe and the void pipe like this. So that's red. Going to be voiding this, 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 and this. And then we just have to put the power on that. Sweet. Watch out, sheep, you're going to get killed. Give me your wool before you die. There's another one over there. Okay, it's getting dark. Might have to sleep here in a second. Look at that little robot doing its thing. Oh, I should have put it higher. It's wasting all that sand. So it's not a huge one, but it'll get us a fair bit of sand. Probably clay and stuff like that underneath as well. Um, 
because of the shape of this pipe here, like I had an, had one going at a right angle before with the two quarries right next to each other. And I think that was causing the items to pipe out the, uh, pop out the side of it. So with it set up like this, we probably won't need the, we probably won't need the uh, vacuum hopper on top. 